let's look at how principal protected nodes work. Now, principal protected nodes basically, if an investor invests on a principal protected node, the investor benefits from any gain in the value of a specified portfolio without the risk of any losses. So let's look at a small example and then we can look at how we could structure a principal protected note. So assume that you're working for a particular financial organization and you want to structure a particular principal protected note and sell it to a client. So let's assume that you're planning to sell the principal protected note for $20,000. So the way it works is the client will invest $20,000 and let's assume the length of the note is four years time. So the note will mature in four years time. Now, the terms of the note is that the principal itself is protected. So no matter what happens in the market, the client will still receive the principal of $20,000 at the end of four years time. And plus the note provides the benefit of any upside of a particular index to a total value of $20,000, which is equivalent to the notional. So what this means is that, let's assume that this is linked to a particular index. If the index performs well over the four years, the investor will receive the upside, upside benefit. But if the index performs badly over the next four years, the investor will be able to still receive back his $20,000 but will not will not incur any losses due to any downward movements in the index. In other words, any losses. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what we are saying is the principle itself is protected. So let's see how can a financial institution structure a note like this and sell it and make a profit. So you can see there are two components. One is that the principle is should be protected and the other one is that you have to provide an upside benefit of a particular underlying asset without necessarily taking any losses. So the way it could be structured is that now if we just focus on the principle, you can think of a zero coupon bond. Remember a zero coupon bond, once you purchase a zero coupon bond, at maturity, you will receive the notional back. So if we assume that there is a zero coupon bond that will provide, give us $20,000 at the end of four years time. And let's assume the present value of that $20,000. In other words, the, the price of that zero coupon bond today, let's assume that it's $17,000. So in other words, if we purchase this zero coupon bond for $17,000 and we hold it till maturity, then we know that irrespective of what happens in the market, whether interest rates move upwards, downwards, or any other market risk factors change, we will still receive at maturity $20,000. So whatever happens in the market, we'll be able to return $20,000 to the investor. So once we are happy with that now we have three thousand dollars left remember because we need to structure this this whole product in order to make the this principle protected note profitable we need to structure this whole product for less than twenty thousand dollars so that when the client pays us twenty thousand dollars we'll have some profits so we need to structure this whole thing for less than twenty thousand dollars in order for the principal protected note to be profitable. So since we have spent $17,000 already to purchase this zero coupon bond, we have another $3,000 to set up this structure where you could get the benefit of an upside movement in the index without taking any losses. So you have $3,000. Now if we structure this, this part of the product for less than $3,000, then we can make some profits. Now the way to do that is you could enter into a call option. So basically you take a long position in a call option where the underlying is the index itself. 
the, the same index and you enter into a call option where the strike of that call option and the underlying value of the call option is the same in other words it's an add the money call option remember when we say add the money call option the strike is equivalent to the underlying so here i'm just saying that the strike and underlying is twenty thousand dollars now th the reason i'm saying this is just to keep it simple because we said that the investor wants the upside of the index let's assume for a notional equivalent to twenty thousand dollars now in this case if the index is only thousand let's assume the spot price of the index is only thousand dollars that means we will look for a call option where the strike is also thousand dollars and we will just enter into 20 of those call options but just to keep the example simple i'm assuming that the value of the index today is twenty thousand dollars and therefore we are taking a long position in a call option where the strike is also twenty thousand dollars now let's assume that this call option can be purchased for two thousand dollars remember when you take a long position in a call option or a put option you need to pay the premium and that's the price of the call option so let's assume here the premium is two thousand dollars now if the premium is two thousand dollars remember we already spent seventeen thousand dollars in on the zero coupon bond which is the present value of twenty thousand dollars and if we are saying we can purchase this call option for two thousand dollars that's a total of nineteen thousand dollars which is pretty good because we can set up this whole structure for nineteen thousand dollars and then we can sell it for twenty thousand dollars which means we'll make a profit of thousand dollars so now the question is that can this call option be purchased for two thousand dollars now another way of saying that is that so remember we already spoke about the cost of setting up the principal protected note according to our example here is nineteen thousand dollars but remember we said we are assuming the price of this particular call option is two thousand dollars now what we are saying here is that if the principal protected note can be set up in order for it to be profitable remember in order for the principal protected note to be profitable if we can purchase this call option here this call option for anything less than the difference between the underlying value and the present value of the underlying value so remember in our example the underlying was twenty thousand dollars and the present value of the underlying is seventeen thousand dollars so that's underlying is denoted as s the present value of the underlying is denoted by pvs so if the call option is less than twenty thousand dollars minus seventeen thousand dollars that means three thousand dollars now if your call option is less than three thousand dollars then the principal protected note is profitable so now the question is is it possible to do that so remember according to the put call parity remember put call parity only applies to european options now according to the put call parity we know that this formula applies that the value of a european put option plus the value of the underlying equivalent to the value of an european call option plus the present value of the strike price now remember we said we are taking a long position in a call option where the strike is same as the underlying so what that means is that we can replace the strike here we can replace k here with the underlying s so that means this formula becomes this where p which is the price of an european put option plus the underlying value equivalent to the price of a call option plus the present value of the underlying now of course this doesn't apply to all options this applies specifically to this case because we are saying 
that we are purchasing a call option where the strike is same as the underlying so here we can replace the value of the strike so we can replace k with s because this is 20,000 this is 20,000 you can see here so this formula becomes this here now if you look at this carefully of course we can rearrange this formula to this here the price of the call option can be given by this now if you look at this carefully you can see the value of the call option is definitely greater than the underlying minus the present value of the underlying because if you think about it let's let's assume that the underlying minus the present value of the underlying is 100 according to this formula you can see you need to add something to this 100 let's assume that this this is 100 let's assume that this is 100 you need to add something to this 100 which is p in this case you need to add something to this 100 to make it equivalent to the price of the call option which means the call option is definitely greater than 100 in this case the underlying minus the present value of the underlying so remember we said that the principal protected note will only be profitable if the call option price is less than the underlying minus the present value of the underlying but here now based on the put call parity we just proved that a call option normally in the market will always be greater than the underlying minus the present value of the underlying now the only time the call option will be less than the underlying minus the present value of the underlying is when the underlying has an income so that's what we are saying here in the note in order for the call option to cost less than the underlying minus the present value of the underlying it's only possi possible when the underlying has an income because remember when you have a call option and when the underlying has an income the income reduces the future price of that asset in this case for example now in this case remember this is a four year product this is a four year product now if the index has an income if you think about it for four years you will not be able to purchase the index part of your call option so if your index has an income that reduces the future value of the index that reduces the future value of the index compared to an index that doesn't have an income so basically what we are saying is in order for the call option to cost less than s minus pvs basically the underlying minus the present value of the underlying in order for the call option to cost less than this that's only possible when the underlying has an income but if the underlying doesn't have an income this formula stands here that means the call option will always be higher than what you the difference between the underlying and the present value of the underlying so what that means is now going back to the principal protected note if you are guaranteeing the full principle as part of your structure you can call it a, a full principal protected note now in other words if you are guaranteeing the whole principle as part of your note that's only possible if your underlying provides an income in other words if you're because remember you need a call option you need a long position in a call option that's linked where the underlying is the is linked to this index and if this index is providing an income then it's possible to set up a structure where 100 percent of the principle will be protected so remember just to summarize the way to set up this structure is that we enter into a zero coupon bond 
we enter into a zero coupon bond and we can purchase that zero coupon bond where at maturity the zero coupon bond will provide the notional value and then in order to get the upside benefit of a particular index we simply purchase a call option and since we want to give the exposure to the whole notional in this case twenty thousand dollars we need to make sure that the strike is equivalent to the value of the underlying we need to make sure that the strike is equivalent to the value of the underlying so in other words it's an add the money call option and if the price of this call option is less if the price of this call option is less than the value of the underlying minus the present value of the underlying then we can set up a profitable principal protected note and that's only possible when the underlying has an income so that's that's an important thing to remember so the, a full principal protected note you can only structure it when your underlying provides an income and if it doesn't provide an income then based on the put call parity it will not pos be possible to set up a principal protected note where 100 percent of the principal is protected so if you have any questions put it on the comment section or drop us an email and in the next couple of videos we will be looking at some of the strategies such as bull spread and bear spread and other strategies thank you